Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ramadan Game Show. We have a winner as we will be walking by right here in Bahrain City Center looking for winners. So, who's going to win in this episode? Let's see. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with pretty much, I would say, a bodybuilder. How are you today? Fine, thanks. And your name is? Ahmed Yusuf. Ahmed, are you ready to win? Yes. yes. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Three questions. You answer two right, you win cash. Cool? Let's go with this. Let's go with this. Now, how many months of the year have exactly 31 days? Some months have 31, some months have 30, and there's this one month that wants to be alone that has sometimes 28 days for whatever reason. So, how many months of the year that actually have exactly 31 days? Seven months of the year? Eight months? Or nine months? Seven. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. Don't you want to count them first? No, no. You want to check your calendar? <laughs> no. You sure? Yeah, sure. 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 Yeah. Sure. 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 <laughs> sure. Seven. Seven. You like the number seven? Yes. Then, and it likes you. Congratulations. First one, right. Cool. Seven. Awesome. Let's go for another question. Huh. Okay. Have you ever been to Japan? No. You never went to Japan? No. You don't like Captain Majid? Yes. So you never been to Japan because of Captain Majid? Of course, yes. You like Captain Majid, but you never been to Japan. Okay, well, let me ask you this then. But do you want to go to Japan one day? Yes, of course. Cool. So what color is the circle on the Japanese national flag? White and red. So the circle is red or white? Uh, red. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. And you're correct. Hopefully one day you're going to go to Japan and meet Captain Majid himself, even though he is a cartoon character. But hey, you know, enemies sometimes do come to life. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. We have a winner. T take me with you to Japan, okay? okay. We're going to go. And we are here with another cool dude. Man, I like your shirt. What is your name? Uh, my name is Zane. What inspired you? to take this t-shirt? I don't know, I was just shopping with my parents and then they wanted to get me shirts. So I was just like, screw it, I'll just get this. <laughs> I love that shirt, man. I love that. It's like, it brings positivity. It brings a lot of good vibes. So now, speaking of good vibes, do you feel like you're gonna win today? Yeah, <laughs> let's hope, yeah. Let's go, let's go, Zane. Yeah. White Zane. So three questions, get two right, and you're gonna win the prize. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go, Zane with his cool shirt. Starting with the first question. No, according to a very old saying, to which European capital city do all roads lead to? Is it Isatown? You like Isatown? Is it Paris or Rome? Rome. Um, Rome. What about Isatown, man? Everybody goes to Isatown. Come on. Yeah. Um, that is true. I'm going to stick with Rome. Sure? Yeah, yeah. Far away. <laughs> yeah, but Isatown's right here. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, all roads lead to Isatown because all it's the food. Rain, maybe. Yeah? <laughs> nah, yeah, 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 Rome. You're right. It is Rome. Congratulations, you got this one right. Let's go with another one. Okay, huh. Which of the following language does not use gender as part of its grammar? <laughs> Look at that face, it's like, what? So, Arabic, English, or Turkish? English. You sure? Yes. It does not use gender as part of its grammar. Are you sure? I mean, yeah, he... Yeah. She, he, him, she, shem. I don't know any Turkish. Turkish. Do you know Arabic? Yeah. I do know Arabic. 
Does Arabic use gender as part of his grammar? It does. So, leaving you with? Turkish. So, you want to lock it down on Turkish? Yes, Turkish. Because you pretty much don't know the Turkish language? Yeah, it's uh, just a process of elimination. Wow, that was strong. A positive elimination. <laughs> You are actually correct. Congratulations. I thought you were going to get this one wrong, but I actually got it right. It must be the shirt, man. Giving good yeah, vibes. Good luck. You know, guys, next time you're going to be here in the mall, you want to win, just get a shirt like that, and he's just going to give you good vibes for your mindset and psyche. Well, Zin, White Zin, congratulations, another winner. And I'm here with a very elegant human being. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. I like your style. What do you call this? Um, summer, summer, summer outfit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you work out? Uh, I've been not working out recently. I've been just like busy with my university. <laughs> yeah. What do you study? Banking and finance. Woo! Make it rain. Make it rain. And your good name is? My name is Haytham. Okay. And I would be happy to be in the in, Behind TV, <laughs> not that I am newspaper. <laughs> Ooh, okay, pretty much a lot is going on here. Apparently you've been through a lot. <laughs> okay, so, Haytham, banking and finance, good style, and he works out. <laughs> so, three questions, you get two right, and you win a prize. Are you ready, Haytham? Yes, I am. <laughs> so Let's exciting. go, you look exciting, you look exciting, man. I like his style, Let's go. Now, with some Bahraini history, yes. When did Bahrain become independent? 1920, 1950, or 1971? 1971. How confident are you with that answer? Because I studied the history of Bahrain. I'm not gonna even touch that. <laughs> okay, yes, it's 1971. Well, how long have you been studying the Bahraini history? Um, since I was in uh, grade three till like high school, or well, actually till, 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 till now, till the university, yeah. You know more stuff than I do. <laughs> Bahrain. I'm not, I'm Palestinian, but like I love the history of Bahrain. And it loves you <laughs> and your style. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. Huh, another one of those history questions. Let's test that all that knowledge you've been studying since grade three. <laughs> wow. Since you came here, man. When was oil discovered in Bahrain? 1940, 1990, or 1932? 1932. And ladies and gentlemen, we have another winner who knows his history very well of Bahrain. I won't even go any more than that, any further than that. You know your history so well. Pay them, ladies and gentlemen. Banking and finance and he works out. <laughs> and this was it for this episode of your game show here. We have a winner on Bahrain International TV. A lot of positivity and good vibes. So stay tuned for more coming up on this episode on Bahrain International TV. We'll see you next time.